Bars. Do y'all think JT should be a heavy on it affiliate? That's right. You heard it here first. Nicki Minaj is asking, should JT be an affiliate of her record label, Heavy On It? But welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. Um, Today, we have a lot to discuss because Nicki is in rollout slash promo mode for the FTCU, the Sleaze Mix. So, of course, she's been talking more than usual, especially regarding her re relationship with fellow rapper JT. So, we're going to talk about what J what Nicki sees for JT's future business-wise, the what Nicki thinks about the current climate of hip-hop, and the accusations about her, um, about JT being Nicki's lapdog. So, before before we dive all the way in, please like this video. Consider subscribing if you enjoy um, conversations about female rappers and the business politics that affect their decision making and careers. Um, and of course, I will also share a couple of screen recordings about what Nikki said regarding JT last night. Now, of, of course, I have been making videos about Nikki and JT um, recently because that's what the talk of the town is currently. So make sure that you guys are keeping up with that playlist on the channel as well. But um, yeah, this one pertains to really the business, right? So JT joins um, Nicki Minaj live on Station Head um, while she's giving out prizes for her tour and other stuff that she has on sale. But anyway, so then um, once again, you have to remember that Nick, Nikki's on tour and then JT is also doing her little tour around the country to different clubs and stuff like that. So they're kind of like in like different ends of the spectrum, but kind of doing the same thing. So they come on and they kind of like catch up with each other. So Nikki starts off saying the internet has been a very funny place lately, haven't been able to be on top of it because of tour. So she's like, JT, can you relate? Because you've also been traveling for show, for show. JT says, I blame you, as in I blame Nicki Minaj and Cat Williams for basically all the rap beef that's going on right now. JT's like, it's a lot going on or whatever. And Nikki says she has to talk to, she got to hit JT privately. So, okay, cool, boom, pay attention to that. You know, they got to have an off the, off the shore conversation. Um, maybe to talk about the mess, I don't know. Um, so Nick, JT talks about her having fun and connecting in real life with her supporters and stuff like that, because the internet can be a very cruel place place. Um, and then this is also along with Nikki's advice to JT. So, um, Nikki says, people think the internet is real. Artists start feeling themselves right away because of the internet. Um, JT says, there are real people out there that deserve to be touched. She says, they feel so close to me. I see the growth, even with my pre-saves. It's a different support system when you outside. Um, this is good because these days, most artists only build their relationships with their friends through the screen. So, so salute to JT for really doing that. So then Nikki says a couple things allegedly about Ice Everything is Alleged Child and um, basically how, you know, artists think that they be hot on the internet, they viral, but they really not. That don't translate to album sales. And she talks about people using and the users don't, they don't stop using, they just use the next person. So if you did not catch my video on what she said about Ice, definitely do that. So back to Nikki and JT's convo. Um, Nikki played No Bars and Sideways, both the singles that JT has out right now. And then um, Nikki asks about her new song, Okay, that she's been previewing that we've also been talking about. And she says that she really likes that song. Um, JT says, I purposely put my music out like this. Like she purposely put out street type records, club type records and stuff like that. So she's excited for this is for this club record. She calls it the club rep record. So then Nikki played Sideways. Um, so then... This is where Nikki asked the Barb's their opinion on JT and if they should go into business together. So I'm going to play the audio so you can hear it for yourself. Now, let's go back. Anyway, about the tippy tippy top. Imagine trying to. Not this one. Like JT Barb's. Do y'all think JT? should be a heavy on it affiliate yes or no do y'all feel like like jt has reached her full potential 
So in between, I edited to get like the dead space out where Nikki wasn't talking because when she's asking these questions, she's seen the chat go crazy. So she says, um, Barb's, do you think that JT should be a heavy on affiliate? Most people are saying yes, 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 yes. Then she says, do you think that JT has reached their full potential? She's pausing to read the chat once again, and they say no, JT has not reached her full potential. And Nikki says that she agrees. Okay, go ahead. And JT is basically, she's just there, but she's not saying anything. So we on the same thing. Would two Sagittarius or Sagittarius, whatever. Would two Sagittarius fuck the game up? So she says, well, two Sagittarius F the game up. They would kill the game together, the music game. I think so. Um, I think they do have a lot of potential. I've said that before, and I'm going to keep saying it. Um, I think that... Um so it feels like, you know, seeing Nikki and JT interact like this, it feels like they have these talks often. And because JT didn't feel the need to, like, really speak when, you know, like, she wasn't spoken to. Like, she wasn't thirsty to speak. It's like, oh, like, we just have these conversations so often. So generally, people feel like JT is taking Nikki's advice. And it seems like they have somewhat of a close relationship, like a big little sister type thing. I don't see them, while I don't see them falling out, I hope that if something happens business or personal, that Nikki doesn't regret it because people have been theorizing the reason that her relationships with the girls go sour is because she takes their verbal agreements and not their signatures on the contracts. So that's why JT needs to see how she can clear her business with QC so she can potentially move to heavy on it with a clean slate. I'm not sure how it would look if QC is still involved as a label, but Nikki also needs to build her label in infrastructure. And although we can't tell what's happening behind the scenes, I feel like you can send when a business has proper infrastructure to operate. And I'm not sure if all the essential positions at a label are currently filled with heavy on it. Um, and why does JT even really need QC's label support when she could get that and way more at Republic and heavy on it as well? But um, yeah. So like I said in my previous video, it seems like Nikki is ready to go on JT. She's ready to move with her business-wise or whatever and just waiting for the right time. Also, um, let's talk about how Nikki... So I don't know if I mentioned this, but Nikki also said like, yo, the rap game is messy right now. So I just wanted to say that as her acknowledging all the disses back and forth that's going on right now. But real quick, let's talk about um, her backing JT against the media. I was JT. JT should be a heavy on it affiliate. JT. Anyway, at the tippy tippy top. Imagine trying to drag down this girl, JT, so that she would never know how loved she is in real life. So that she would believe that this is how the world actually views her so that she would be discouraged so that she would be discouraged so basically nikki is basically backing jt because when she gets posted on the blogs or just how people in engage with her on social media it's usually always contentious and jt is not innocent in those situations not all of them but still she receives a lot more backlash than um her peers and so nikki is basically saying like people want to co convince you on the internet that you are not loved in real life so why would you guys sit here and try to um you know like just diminish a talented black woman who um you know it's clearly loved and she should be able to go outside um, and experience that. But y'all try to, you know, like deter her from doing that by, you know, putting her in situations to get so much hate. And real quick on the lap dog comments, I don't think I have sc um, screen recordings on that, but Nikki basically said like how um, the lap, lap dog comments, it seems to only revolve around her and JT's relationship. Um, it's a lot of lap dog things going on right now with the female rappers and with the male rappers as well. People teaming up together to, you know, like battle one person or whatever. But it seems like that those uh, comments, accusations, and those labels only get put on JT in reference to Nicki Minaj and how that is a double standard. So Nikki also did address that. 
that. But if you made it to end to the end, please let me know how you feel about everything I presented today. If it was accurate, especially if if you were there, um, let me know definitely your thoughts on Nikki's and JT's relationship. And also, I'm this is not doesn't even count as a video I want to do on reasons why JT should sign to Nikki. So if you have reasons both for her signing to Nikki and against her that she shouldn't sign to Nikki, do let me know in the comments if you're brave and the good ones will make it into my next video. So please like this one and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.